You ever play the lotteries? Yeah. Yeah, I never play them. But you ever get, <laughs> you ever get a lottery ticket, somebody give it to you as a gift, like for Christmas or something? I always thought that was the weirdest gift to give somebody, a lottery ticket, you know? You go, here you go, nothing. <laughs> That's nothing at all there. From me to you, a worthless hunk of cardboard. But that's all it is, unless it pays off, you know? And that'd be worse. Imagine giving a guy a lottery ticket for Christmas and wins. <laughs> you get a call a guy from like a week later, go, yeah, what's that, Bill? Yeah, I remember that ticket I give you. 14 million bucks, huh? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, Merry Christmas to you then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what'd you get me again? <laughs> oh, you had a cup. <laughs> Oh, that was some cup, too, wasn't it? Uh, guess no chance of that cup skyrocketing in value in the next little while, is there? You dirty dog! I'm trying to quit smoking now, that's tough, man, because I smoked ever since I was a kid, you know? I remember one time, I was young, I was like 11, and I was behind my garage, I was sneaking a cigarette back there, my dad caught me. He hauled me in, I thought I was in for the strapping of my life. What he did is he pulled out his big cigar, must have been half the size of my arm, his cigar. Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it all the way through, right to the end. That's when I started smoking cigars real heavy. That's it. <laughs> that plan didn't work out too good there. <laughs> there was a time he caught me smoking a joint. Injected me with heroin that time. He pulled out a big... He was strict, that's what I'm trying to say. He was a strict man. That's the point I'm trying to drive home, you know? It's hard to quit though, man. You know, my doctor, he tried to scare me out of smoking. Showed me a picture of a smoker's lung. How? Oh! It was really gross and disgusting. And then he showed me a picture of his healthy guy's lung. How? Oh! It was really gross and disgusting too. What do you think of that, huh? Turns out it was just lungs. That's why they put them on the inside. You have to look at them all the time. Right? <laughs> Show some discretion, for God's sakes. <laughs> but you can't use gimmicks either. I tried to quit smoking. I went to a guy who was like a hypnotist, you know? Put me under a spell. Every time I had a craving for a cigarette, I would throw up. Very embarrassing right after sex. <laughs> oh! Well, it's pretty hard to get that second date after that, you know what I mean? <laughs> after you barf on it, women get real snobby all of a sudden, you know what? Go figure, am I a big nose out of joint there? They're fine when you're not barfing on them. Ah. You gotta quit though. Even tells you right on the pack to quit, right on the back. It has little words on the side of the cigarette pack. It says, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know the exact words, but something. <laughs> I understand now they want to take it one step further. On the back of the pack, they want to put on pictures of terminally ill patients. And that's pretty rough there. You know, that's like a picture of the worst possible thing that could happen to you. You know, I hope they don't start doing that with other products. You know, like you walk into a bakery, buy a chocolate cake. <laughs> Big fat pimply guy in the back of the bag there, you know. <laughs> oh, there's a big fat pimply guy in the back of the bag there. Big. I only had three teeth back there. Big pimply, fat three tooth guy. Or maybe you walk into a jewelry store, you buy a nice diamond engagement ring for your beautiful fiance. Some old bag with curlers in her hair in the back of the bag there. Oh, old bag back there with curlers. Big floppy slippers on back there. So it's good to quit smoking. You still got to keep in shape. You know, I don't work out or nothing like that. That's my problem. I don't work out. You know, I haven't worked out for uh, uh, forever. I never worked out. You, know, but you got to. You got to work out. You didn't have to use to work out when you were a kid. You know, I, you know, when I was a kid, I looked good. When I was, you know, I was in really good shape when I was like uh, one. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know me now, you know, if you saw me when I was one. I looked good and young and fresh. And, even for one, I look good. People come out and go, what, are you zero? 
Good, zero. Bad, maybe.